we're starting to accept that we now live in the North Pole. It really is like entering a different world. Narnia is like the best way to explain it. But unfortunately, that comes with consequences. And then last night, <laughs> I did something very, very stupid. It's been a season of progress, and Mountain Made Vans has some big updates to share. The team is top notch, the vans are top notch, and this particular build, oh my gosh. We wanted to show you a fun surprise. We've had this truck for one week. I basically destroyed it. Subscribe and come along today as we savor the baby steps. Allie and I are gonna to attempt to unload the snowmobile. And the lessons that come with them. Big, big mistake. What's up guys and good morning. We are in a winter wonderland still. If you guys hadn't guessed, there is still tons of snow. There's more on the way. I believe tonight and tomorrow we're supposed to get like another one to two feet, which it just feels like the snow is never ending this year. And it may sound like we're complaining, but actually I really enjoy it. Um, snow removal is kind of a pain, but living in a winter wonderland, it's basically priceless. So. <laughs> There's uh, Allie leaving the bathroom. So this morning, it is actually Monday morning and we are heading down to Mountain Made Vans for Mountain Made Mondays. It's been a while since we've taken you guys with us. We're heading down there to show you guys some progress on the vans, to see what's going on. And we're really excited to do so. On your head, your hat goes on your head. What's going on, Trent? Hey, Dean, how are you? Oh, man, everyone's calling me. Everybody's calling you? Ah, I don't know why. It's not even like that cold. Everyone's starting to <laughs> Next Tuesday. I'll basically just be waiting on HVAC for a four-way. Really? It's fast. I mean, there's just nothing to it, man. It's like we've already got the plumbing in, so it's like basically electrical and yeah. HVAC. And electrical is just a day of pulling wires and hanging boxes. We already hung most of the boxes. Nice. All right, well, I'll uh, plan on seeing you on Tuesday then. Yeah, sounds good. All right, that's Dean. Dean is uh, gonna be coming up to install our furnace or at least assess and do some of the work to get our furnace set up and all of the ducting. In the next week or so, he's really busy right now. It's cold and snowing and so everybody's furnaces keep going out and since their furnaces go out, they call Dean and Dean has to go fix them. So he's got a full busy schedule. Um, we've still got a lot of stuff we could do in the garage before we absolutely need HVAC. But basically as soon as Dean is done with the HVAC system, I think we can kind of call for four-way. Wow. Either way, we're making progress. We're on our way down to the shop. Woo! It is windy down here. Happy to be at your garage 2.0. Yeah. <laughs> this is definitely the garage 1.0. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> Trying to get the curls in. Dang, dude. I love dang this. Dang right. Double bang, dang. How are y'all? Excellent. Oh, burnt myself a little. Ooh, be careful. Yeah, careful's my middle name. Trent will kiss it for you if you need it. Come here. Come give me some. <laughs> okay. Don't don't take a shower in it. Oh my gosh. Oh, I really like this tile. Ooh. Most excited about. So basically, I think we can. Wrong. No, it's not. I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's Matt. Matt. Mountain. Mountain. <laughs> See, like we could basically drill four holes anywhere in the van and then use stainless steel rivets.
some badging. Especially with like the, do you see the striations on it? Yeah. It looks sick. It does yeah, look like very crisp. Yes. Okay. Isn't he so beautiful? I mean, that's all it is. is it just has to like. Be Ooh! Yeah! There we go. Three more. That looks good. <laughs> well, we haven't been down to Mountain Maid Vans in a while because it's been the holidays and travel and just lots of stuff has been going on. But if you don't know, Mountain Maid Vans is the best place to get your custom camper van built. We do all types of vehicles. We do any layout you're looking for. We have a couple tried and true layouts that we know work really well. We've all built vans and lived and traveled in vans before. So the team is top notch, the vans are top notch, and this particular build, oh my gosh. It's a 144 Mercedes Sprinter. Um, and so when you have a 144 wheelbase, it's a little bit tighter and you have to get really creative with space saving strategies. And the layout in this van is coming together so beautifully. It's gonna be done in the next couple weeks and I cannot wait to show you the final results. We were young and we were free and running. Never bothered about what could be coming. Oh. It's a single use tool, huh? You guys are into tools as much as Trent. That's awesome. A few years later, I have started thinking if it's just love in every glass I'm drinking, we're like one and without you, I'm sinking. I'm always shining next to you. All right, things are super exciting down here at Mountain Made Vans. We have uh, our customer Cheryl. We are building out her van right now. I'm so stoked on how this is coming out. This van is a 144 Sprinter and it's gonna sleep four. It has a toilet, a shower, everything you need to take you know long-term trips into the wilderness to go on adventures. And it's gonna be beautiful when it's done. She's picked out some amazing colorways and different types of fabric that we probably wouldn't have used that she like came up with and it looks amazing. I'm so stoked on how this is turning out. I think we're wrapping things up. We just had a very productive team meeting. We've got a huge to-do list of things for Mountain Made Vans and uh, we're gonna go get started. A new place, a new home for a while. Let me feel alive. Nothing to hold me back. Take my time, just enjoy the ride. We're under another winter weather advisory and we're just driving back up our mountain and it's crazy that in the valley it was just a little bit of light rain and all of a sudden like you go through a doorway. You go through the doorway to Narnia and all of a sudden it's just like a blizzard. The visibility is super low, the snowflakes are super big, it's gorgeous um, and it's really like entering a different world. It really is like entering a different world. Narnia is like the best way to explain it because you're driving and it's like a little bit of rain and all of a sudden you hit this wall where once you go through that wall, it's been snowing for the, like the last four or five hours. So there's already like a almost untouched like two or three inches of snow on the asphalt on the way up to our house. And that means at our house, there's even more fresh snow. There's a lot more on the way today and tomorrow. This is uh, probably gonna be another day where we stack up like, you know, another foot, foot and a half, wow. two feet, something like that. But it's like really, it's pretty normal for us. Like every snowstorm, I feel like we get a foot. So yeah. when most people think of a foot, they're like, oh my gosh, that's a crazy amount of snow. But like for us, that's like, that's like when we start shoveling. It's like once there's a foot of snow, which is like, <laughs> Totally wild. It's funny though, because this is our third winter up here and the last two winters have been relatively light. And we, we uh, you'd think we'd have a lot of experience by now, but the last two winters haven't had that much snow. We've gotten, I don't know if you could call it lucky because it's been during the bulk of our construction process. But this winter, now that we're like, you know, mostly done with some of the big stuff, of course it decides to just dump snow every day. Uh, and it's really cool. It's like a totally new experience. I think it's amazing. It's like living in a winter wonderland. I found my way, I found my way. I was in the dark against it all, but made it through the day. Cause I found my way, I found my way. In bad times, I know I'll be okay. Is that funny? Yeah, this is what always happens. <laughs> I know I'll be okay. Wow. <laughs> all right. 
We made it home. We've still got some stuff to do. We've got to uh, unload the snowmobile out of our truck. And also, most of you guys have seen our truck, but a lot of you guys didn't catch it. It's been very exciting around here. We actually traded in the Forerunner for a truck. The Forerunner served us very well and I absolutely loved it, but honestly, it was not working out super well for the type of terrain that we live in with the amount of snow that we get. We had this basically same exact truck before we got the other truck um, and it was starting to fall apart. So we ended up trading it in and now we basically got it back. It's a newer version, um, still used, but does much better on these snowy steep roads and just makes me feel a little bit safer when I'm driving with Leo by myself. <sighs> just a little bit more capable and a lot safer. So this truck had actually been wrecked and it had been totaled. So we bought it with a salvage title, which means we got it for a very, very, very huge discount yeah. compared to how much it would cost if it hadn't been wrecked. And it was all repaired and everything was brand new and beautiful. And then last night, <laughs> I did something very, very stupid. So last night, I'm backing this truck with the snowmobile in the back up our driveway. And it's a little tough to get up the driveway, especially when it hasn't been plowed. And I'm like backing up and backing up and backing up. And I get to about this point and I look in the side view mirror and I see Rusty way back there. And I look at this snowbank and I'm trying to go in between the snowbank. Ta -da! And I did this. We've had this truck for one week. <laughs> That is uh, the tailgate of our new truck, or new to us truck. So I basically destroyed it. <laughs> Trent's garage is gonna have to do a number on this truck. It's extremely uh, rare when I run into things in a vehicle. It's not like it's never happened and I'm sure it will happen again, but especially backing up, I'm usually really good about this type of stuff, but uh, I think the, you know, Rusty being white and it being, you know, slippery and I'm trying to get out. I just, I, I made a bad judgment call. I'd been snowmobiling all day, so I was completely exhausted. It was the end of the day. I've got excuses for days. If you need more, let me know. But <laughs> basically I ran it into Rusty. It made this dent right here. It broke the tail light. You can't really see it, but if you look underneath down here, the tailgate is completely deformed and destroyed. Big, big mistake. Now, Allie and I are gonna to attempt to unload the snowmobile, which I think this is gonna go a little bit sketchier than it probably should. Allie's like, oh, I can help you unload the snowmobile. I was like, it's really heavy. She's like, no, 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 I can help you. The only thing is, is I have this Marlon ramp, which like, it's a single sled ramp that goes into the back of the bed. It's on wheels, so we don't have to really pick it up. We just have to kind of slide it back and teeter it. And then I can like let the snowmobile roll backwards off the ramp. We're gonna see if we can do it. I'm gonna put you guys here inside the tractor so that you can get a nice view. It's like hard packed snow. This is from the top of Rusty. Ready? You can give me count. One, two, three. Wait, is it attached to something from the What? No. It's attached to the snow. Let's do it again. One, two, three. Two, three. One more time. One, two, three. Oh. Yeah, sure. Too steep. Hey, caramba. It is absolutely freezing out there and snowing hard. It is a little bit of a bummer that the first week we have this new truck, um, there's some issues <laughs> that already need to be fixed. But if I had done that, I know I wouldn't want Trent to be mad at me and I know it was an accident and I'm just happy there was nobody else involved. It was right here at our own property and it wasn't any worse than it was. So we'll get that back tailgate fixed. <laughs> We're just breaking it in. We moved the sled into the garage. We had to take the silver truck out. So now Trent is just trying to make it up the driveway one more time. Come on. There we go. Good flat. Oh my goodness. No. Yes. 
sliding everywhere. <laughs> One truck mess up I can handle, but two, I was about to be super mad. <laughs> Can't crash two trucks in two days. <laughs> that would be unheard of. I promise I'm not putting him in there. He's going in there voluntarily and it is the funniest thing in the world to me that he absolutely loves to put himself in prison <laughs> in the dog kennel. Thank you for sharing, Lika. Yeah, good girl. Trent has been out there for about the past hour trying to widen the road and plow a little bit because um, I guess now the winter weather advisory has increased and we're gonna get more snow than expected. So before it dumps another two to four feet, he's just, doing his part to help out the neighborhood, have safe roads. We were gonna go climbing with Joel tonight, which we were really looking forward to. It's kind of one of our favorite traditions and the traffic on the highway is fully backed up in both directions. There's a couple semis that have slid off the road. The weather is just getting worse and worse. So unfortunately, I don't think we're going anywhere just to stay as safe as possible. But that doesn't mean we're not gonna have a beautifully cozy night up here on the mountain. Come on. For probably like two months, maybe even longer, three months now, Leo has been pulling himself up to stand and kind of cruising around on things while holding on to them. And he's only very recently started to let go and take like two steps. So he'll take like two to four steps max and then he falls down. Or he'll like take two steps quickly knowing he's about to fall into your arms or onto a blanket or a pillow or something. Um, and I. And for like the longest time, we've been like, oh, he's about to walk, he's about to walk. And he just keeps taking those like two steps and that's it. So everyone keeps telling me it'll happen, it'll all even out, not to worry. Um, but of course, as a new mom, I'm like always hyper worried about his developmental milestones and all that stuff. So any day now, he's about to actually walk. Come on, come on, come on. Oh! <laughs> Wow. Well, I got done with the road, now it looks like I haven't even done the driveway. Really? Look at the roof, dude. I know, the roof is scaring me. <laughs> Can't even see it. Yeah. About an hour ago is when I said Trent has been out here snow blowing for about an hour. So it's been at least two hours and he just said he's been up and down the road multiple times and it already looks like he hasn't done anything, which means it's coming down really hard really fast. It is still snowing heavily. He's still out here shoveling on the stairs. I think we should make him some dinner. Yay! <laughs> he's too excited when he goes to you and like gets ahead of his feet. Yeah, one at a time, one at a time. Look at you go. Oh, you did it. Come to dad, dad. Come to dad, dad. 
you go oh boy we did it you did it you done where's your head go get mama go get mama it was maybe just like uh maybe two or three days ago leo took like five or six steps in a row and we were like completely blown away i wasn't even here but ali caught it on video he was like walking over to the dog bed and then like Basically, yesterday and today, he's just started like toddling pretty significant distances. And like some of these times he's walked back and forth between us, it's been like 10 steps and like catching his balance and stopping and walking. And like he's there, like he can definitely walk from point A to point B. Now it's just like getting the habit of always walking and not dropping to his knees and crawling, you know? So this is awesome. He's a genius. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, it is uh, getting late. The snow is still falling. It's gonna be stacking up before the morning. I'm still absolutely mind blown about what's outside this window, which is a giant wall of snow. But Allie's actually gonna be going skiing tomorrow with some girlfriends of hers, and I'm really excited that she's getting to take the day off and going to have fun. I'm gonna be hanging out here with Leo, but I think this is probably where we're gonna let you guys go for the day. I'm a little nervous, I'm not gonna lie, because I have to wake up at like five o'clock and drive down the mountain to meet everybody that I'm going with because it's gonna be a power day, it's gonna be a powder day. There's just like, you have to get there early and it's gonna take a long time in all this snow and it makes me even more appreciative that we have this new truck. Yeah. Because. Even if I did run it into Rusty. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> it's been a rough couple days. <laughs> And uh, the forecast is basically saying we get like two days of no snow yeah. and then like five more days of snow. Like it literally seems like it's never going to end and it might just encase our house and break all the windows I and know. be a catastrophic winter, but I didn't we actually, signed up for this. I didn't think that we were going to be nervous, but I'm starting to get a little bit nervous with how much snow there is. It's just not stopping. Yeah. It's like... <laughs> It's great. Everything's great. Pizza's great. But if you had like 10,000 pizzas yeah. in your house, it wouldn't be cool. It'd yeah. be too many pizzas. Do you show them this window? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I've yeah. talked about it. There's 10, 12 feet of snow outside the window. Oh, yeah. Anyways, pray for us. <laughs> we love you guys. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you show us by giving us a big thumbs up on today's video. Consider subscribing to our channel if you haven't already. Thank you, guys. We love you. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Adios. Trent! Trent! You can't park there! <laughs>